Should I disconnect my backup drive when I'm not backing up? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com where I've been backing up for a really, really long time, but I've been doing Ask Leo since 2003. So this question comes up from time to time, especially with the rise of ransomware in recent years. One of the side effects or problems that ransomware has caused is that it is causing people to be concerned that if they allow ransomware on their machine and it starts to encrypt things, will it encrypt their backups? We've been advising backups as one of the single most important things you can do to protect yourself from anything, but also to protect yourself from ransomware. But how is that possible if the ransomware comes along and actually encrypts the backups because the drive is connected at the time the ransomware is doing its job? Well, there's a couple of different approaches to dealing with this. The first is to think about things just a little bit differently. First, we need to realize that not all malware is the same and not all ransomware is the same. Most ransomware, and I do say most, not all, but most, actually doesn't encrypt everything. It actually prioritizes what I would call low hanging fruit or high priority targets for its work. Remember, encrypting files takes time and ransomware wants to encrypt as much as it can without being noticed and do so as quickly as possible. So what it will do is it will actually prioritize encrypting things like .doc files or .docx files. In other words, your word processing documents, your Excel spreadsheets, the things that might be of value in a company. It will also prioritize encrypting your photographs. These are the things that are very often on machines that are of high value to individuals, to average users. Once they find that these are encrypted, if they don't have backup copies of those images, well, then they're stuck. If the files that have been encrypted exist only on your machine, in other words, the only thing you have now is an encrypted copy, you're kind of screwed. I mean, you have two choices. You will lose those files or you pay the ransom and hope that you get the decryption key. Obviously, we advise never ever paying the ransom, which means you lose those files. Now, if you think about it, this is why backing up is so critical. Most ransomware doesn't worry about trying to encrypt your backups. Most ransomware will encrypt a set of files, a selection of files that it finds on your hard drive in the hopes that you haven't been backing up. Well, if you've been backing up, getting those files encrypted is just no big deal because you simply restore them from backups. You simply go and get an unencrypted version and then figure out why or how the ransomware made it to your machine. And of course you remove it. Simply putting those files in something like OneDrive can be sufficient. OneDrive will notice that, yeah, you know, all of a sudden you're changing a whole lot of files. Is that intentional? Uh, it will allow you to roll back your entire OneDrive account to a date in the past so that if you did get ransomware encrypting documents that were stored in OneDrive, OneDrive has your back. They have your backups and will allow you to restore the files before they had been encrypted. So backing up remains the single most important way to protect yourself from ransomware. In fact, it, it's the single most important way to protect yourself from everything else like hardware failure and other forms of malware that can cause destruction. The issue, of course, is that but 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 there's ransomware that actually does encrypt your backups. Great. Yep, I agree. They exist. And in fact, they probably exist more than they did, say, four or five years ago when ransomware first came on the market. It's a numbers game. There are no absolutes here. You are more likely to have a hardware failure. You are more likely to have traditional malware. You are more likely to have ransomware that doesn't encrypt your backups than you are to run into those specific variants that happen to also encrypt backups. In other words, by having backups, you are protecting yourself from the majority of the things that are likely or most likely to go wrong on your machine. 
you want those backups in place. Now, the reason I so strongly recommend that you leave your backup drive connected at all times is because what's more important than avoiding the small chance that you might have a variant of ransomware that happens to encrypt your backups is that you have your backups for everything else because everything else is so much more likely to actually happen. Automating your backups, leaving your backup drive connected ensures that the backups happen whether you remember to do something or not. All of the scenarios that have you removing your backup drive when you're not actively backing up require, they rely on your remembering to reattach the drive, your remembering to perform a backup. You've just made what can be an automated process that requires no thought into a manual process that requires that you remember that you need to do something. Without doing that, if you forget, and trust me, you will forget, then you are completely unprotected from all those other things that can go wrong. Hardware failure, random malware, regular ransomware, and yes, the more destructive ransomware. You are unprotected from everything because you didn't remember to run your backups, because you didn't remember to connect your drive. That's why I so strongly recommend leaving that drive connected and letting your backups happen automatically. Now, I get pushback on this all the time, as you can imagine. People are convinced that uh, the threat, the risk of a backup encrypting ransomware is much higher than I give it credence. Fine, I suppose I disagree. I really think it's more important that you protect yourself automatically from all that other stuff. But let's say it happens a little bit more often than I believe. These folks are absolutely convinced that it's going to happen to them. Okay, fine. Here's how you protect yourself from that. You change what it is you have to remember. You leave your drive connected. You automate your backups. You let those automatic backups happen on their schedule as they should. That way you're protected from everything, everything else that can possibly happen. Now, in order to additionally protect yourself from the smaller possibility that you might encounter backup encrypting ransomware, every so often. How often is up to you? Just remember to manually make a copy of one of your backups and then take that disk offline. So get a second external hard drive, copy the most recent backup image or collection of files to that external hard drive and then disconnect it. Put it in a desk drawer, whatever. Now, the thing that you have to remember to do is something that if you forget only impacts you in a small percentage of malware infection scenarios. The more common scenarios you remain completely protected from. That again, I keep coming back to this, leave the drive connected, leave your backups on automatic. If you want additional protection, if you need to do something that involves your remembering to do something, let that be the protection for the smaller risk, the risk of a backup encrypting ransomware infection. I hope that makes sense. I hope that's helpful. I really do want you to be safe, but I also don't want you to make bad decision on sensational headlines because things aren't really necessarily as bad as we think they are. And I don't want you to not protect yourself because of that. As always, for updates, for comments, for links to related articles, visit askleo.com 18248. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.